Hello, bonjour, comment ça va? The mixed reality race has begun. Let's go! Hello and welcome back to VR Essentials where we talk about the practical uses of VR. That's right, my name is Lazius K. This week, very exciting as today, February 3rd, Lynx have unveiled finally you can pre order the world's first mixed reality headset that will be available this summer. The battle is on because we have the Finns in one side and the French in the other with Varjo versus Lynx. Varjo which have released the XR1 mixed reality VR headset with the developer kit worth a whopping 9,995 US dollars versus the Lynx which is worth 1,500 US dollars. The Lynx R1, similarly to the Quest, has a battery life of about two hours, which will probably take around the same time to charge, and also comes with hand tracking technology. So there are a whole bunch of sensors that comes with it in order to be able to do the tracking, including positional tracking with two black and white cameras, eye tracking with two IR cameras, RGB cameras, two visible light cameras, an IMU with an accelerometer, gyroscope, and magnetometer. The resolution of the Lynx is 1600 by 1600, LCD 90 Hertz. The field of view is 90 degrees and it's also using the Snapdragon Qualcomm XR2, which the Oculus Quest and the DP VR headsets at the moment, although these are VR headsets, not AR VR, are using the XR1 of the Snapdragon. The difference between the XR1 from Varjo and the R1 from Lynx is that the Lynx is the world's first standalone VR mixed reality AR headset versus the Varjo, which is actually still a tethered headset. The Varjo headset is the world's first photorealistic mixed reality VR AR headset. They worked with Bohemia Interactive Simulations to bring out the world's first mixed reality helicopter cockpit, where they can basically blend seamlessly the real world whilst you have someone who's sitting down and piloting the helicopter in a virtual environment. They also developed a project with Volvo where they seamlessly brought their cars from the real world into the X reality environment using the mixed reality headset in order to maneuver and change the environment around them. The combination of AR mixed with virtual reality opens up to a really totally new market, especially when it comes to training employees or getting people to experience new products within a completely immersed environment using the augmented reality and the virtual reality technologies blended together. Varjo field of view is 87 degrees. The Varjo has tremendous more capabilities, including eye tracking. It has an industrial grade sub degree accuracy integrated with 100 Hertz stereo eye tracking delivery, unmatched accuracy and precision across real and virtual environments, which also works for people even when they're wearing glasses or contact lenses. Varjo headset, which has been available since December, has a bionic display with resolution at over 2020 vision, flicker free, Screen refresh rate is also 60 to 90 Hertz. It combines two 1920 by 1080 low persistent micro OLEDs and two 1440 by 1600 low persistent AMOLEDs. Both VR headsets provide six DOF. Six DOF means that you can walk around in the virtual world, bend, and be totally submerged in the virtual world. Thank you very much for watching this really cool news segment. Remember to like and subscribe as the next video I'll be talking about the AMVR magnetic charging station for the Oculus Quest. So hit the bell notification so you get notified when I upload that video. And also so that you and I together we can grow the community and help as many people in the world of VR. Yeah, because that is what it's all about. All right, I'm very excited about this. The mixed reality race is on. This is really gonna push Oculus to come out with an amazing, amazing product in two or three years time. Oof, looking forward to that. But until next time, take it easy, DJ Q Music.